Well, good morning and happy Independence Day. We get to celebrate our independence and uh, for two reasons. One, because we get to live in the United States of America where we are free, free to be here today and worship as we please. Uh, and so we get to celebrate the birth of our nation and uh, just our, our great independence here as citizens of the United States of America. But also we get to celebrate our independence from our sin nature. If you are here today and you are in Christ, then you are independent from your old sins. You're no longer confined and bound and, and uh, condemned because of your sin nature. Uh, you are now free in Christ. If you're here today or you're watching this and you are not a child of God, then you are still condemned by your sins and you will spend an eternity separated from God. So let today be your day of salvation so that he can save you and free you from your sins and give you eternal life. Today, as we have gathered to worship, I want to let you know of a few items of interest uh, so that we can uh, continue to do great things for God's kingdom as he has entrusted us here at Chestnut Grove Baptist Church. First thing I want to let you know about is that uh, as we celebrate the independence of our nation, tomorrow our church office will be closed. I know a lot of places were closed on Friday, but we decided to, to close the office on Monday so that we could be with our families and, uh, and, and do things with our family for Independence Day. So if you have any church business or you need to come by the church office, just wait till Tuesday. We'll have the doors open and ready to receive you. Uh, also, we have a, a work day scheduled. Uh, as we get ready to celebrate another birthday of Chestnut Grove Baptist Church and homecoming is right around the corner and so on November the 11th uh, we want to have a work day we want to do some work outside in the flower beds put down some pine straw and just uh, uh, spruce up the outside portions of our facilities and so if you are available and want to come and help on November the 11th we would greatly appreciate your help you can see Sandy Grogan, and uh, she will let you know what we need and uh, where you can get plugged in. Also, a couple of things we announced last week that I want to remind you of, and so you can be uh, making preparations for and to be praying over, because we're not really sure what we're going to do just yet or how we're going to do it. One is we want to uh, let, let our law enforcement know that we appreciate the hard work that they do. And so I know we've already been in contact with uh, Chick-fil-A about how we can take them uh, some, uh, some meals and so we can provide for the officers as they are going in to their, their shift to, uh, to protect and serve us. Uh, but that's just one small way. I like for us to come up with many ways. And so if you have a suggestion or you know of a way that you would like for us to, to let our uh, law enforcement know that we support them and, and appreciate them, then uh, contact the church office and let us know because we would like to have multiple ways that we as a church show our appreciation of them. And then another thing I introduced last week was that we want to prayer walk around uh, three of the, the Gwinnett County schools in our area. There are three that are right here in our backyard. Uh, we would like to go and prayer walk around the outside of those buildings before school starts back. And they'll be starting back in August. And so we want to pick three days and we can go and just prayer walk and just ask God's blessing to be on them. So be on the lookout for all those. Uh, be in prayer about how you can get involved and all that. Uh, one more thing that I want to pass your way before we uh, get ready to start. And that is, uh, I have one of my masks here. Uh, I have about five that I that I have. Uh, I keep one in each one of our vehicles. Uh, I have one on my desk in my office. I have one at the house. And, uh, just I, I have them all over the place because you never know when you might need one. And um, I don't don't wear one for for myself. I feel like I'm in decent shape. Uh, that I, I stay healthy. Um, and I, I do everything I can to protect myself. I'm really not even too worried about my own family. Uh, Meredith and the kids do a great job of, of, of doing everything they can to stay healthy. And, uh, and so I'm not too worried about us. I do worry about others. Um, in fact, I, I, I know there's a ministry out there called I Am Second. Uh, I kind of borrow from them, but 
adapted into my own perspective because I don't think I am second. I think I am third. I put God first. He is on his throne in heaven. He's on his throne in my heart. Uh, and so he is first. But instead of putting myself second, I put others second. And so as we are here in this worship center, as we go out and represent Christ in the community, I want others to know that I'm putting their lives before my very own. And so, yeah, uh, I don't like wearing this mask, uh, even though I want to thank Vicki Parker for making uh, several of these for me. Uh, they are a great blessing for me to have. Uh, I'd rather not have to wear one. But for others to know that I'm putting their safety ahead of my own, uh, I'll wear a mask. And, and I want to, to make, let everybody feel safe and secure. And so today, as you're here in this worship center and in the weeks to come, uh, you may not like wearing this and you may not want to wear this, but there are those here today or, who'll be, or those who will be coming in the weeks ahead who need you to wear one for their own safety or maybe just for their own peace of mind. But either way, let's put others second and then ourselves third. Our own desires come, come in last place. So let's keep others safe and let them feel safe. And so I want to encourage you to wear a mask. You, hopefully, whenever you see me out in public, whether it's here uh, coming and going, or if you run into me at the store, hopefully you see me wearing a mask because I try my best to wear one when I can, just so that we all are being safe and feel safe. So with that in mind, you are in a safe place. We are here in the, in the Lord's house, in the place of worship, and we are going to give him our very best today as we celebrate our independence as a free nation, but our independence in Jesus Christ. And so let's fix our eyes upon him, the author and perfecter of our faith. Let's worship him today.